cue the violent coughing. Goof goof chan. Goof goof chan. Goof, goof chan, Wuhan chan, and all the other chans. Hello, and welcome to the Voices from Behind podcast. The podcast where every week we have technical difficulties. For many reasons. I'm the host, Evo, and with me is the bastard of a co-host. Who, I, <laughs> who gave me ship films to watch. especially An especially shitty one for this week. But well, we'll, you see semi-naked uh, Charlize Theron. And, and even that is tasteless, much like many things in this film. This is a show where we could give a film to each other and uh, we uh, talk about it the week after. As you can see, it's the Aeon. Aeon? Aeon? Aeon. Everybody Aeon. in that film pronounces it differently, so I'm not even sure. Uh, as you can see, I've actually blurted out even Shirley Theron's name because I feel like she doesn't deserve something this shit on a repertoire. So, uh... Oh, I don't think she fucking cares. I don't think she's scared for years now. I don't... Yeah, I she think does... she's kind of past caring, but still. She does whatever the fuck she wants. Uh... Yeah. Well, it but since long? it's... Yeah, but since she's Shirley Theron, no one gives a shit. Yeah, very true. So, this is a... Uh... Yeah, we're going to talk about what we did during this week. Mm, I did absolutely nothing since I'm on a fucking lockdown. And I've been bored out of my fucking mind. Oh, you're in an actual lockdown as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, 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 I was going to be in a lockdown. Uh, but I'm still going to work tomorrow. Huh, no, Because our company has decided to, instead of uh, closing, like all the other cafes, restaurants, and pubs, in the country from tonight to stay open as a takeaway only place, which is legal. You know, it's uh, Mr. Johnson, Mr. Brees Johnson actually stated that, yes, it's absolutely fine to, oh, excuse me, to uh, stay open as a takeaway only establishment. However, we're inside the department store. So being takeaway only is going to be a bit of a, a bit of a titty. Maybe, so did maybe, you so. did you watch anything this week? Did you do anything of oh, any? Oh, I watched a shit ton of stuff. Because I believe I... I believe you also got a new computer. Yes, I did. Tell me about this. Tell, to... tell me about this new computer. It arrived today. Oh yes. And I took like fifteen minutes to set it up. Then I started CS:GO, so that it ran smoothly, and that was muy muy um, uh, good. Yeah. I just felt so fucking. I mean, it's been a while because I get something to do now. Uh, what did I watch? Oh, I watched a couple of TV series. I finally watched Wu Assassins. Okay. With with Iku Weiss, if you remember him, aka Iku Weiss, uh, uh, uh -huh. from, the, from, from the from the raid. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's Netflix. It's a Netflix movie, and it's sorry, it's a Netflix TV series. And here's the thing. Oh, well, it's not necessarily bad. It's not great. Oh. Uh, I would and. The reason I'm saying it's not great is it was definitely not my cup of tea. Uh, because it, uh, it follows more Chinese style of martial arts, including the uh, earth, wind, fire, metal, and whatever the fuck they go. And the whole uh, the magical system. I don't think the reason don't talk about chakras, which is fine. And it, it kind of kills me inside a bit, but, um, but it also has the... Oh, that... That Japanese guy from uh, John Wick Three, the crazy one. Oh, uh, he's a, he's a he's a actor, famous actor. Uh, let's. I always forget his name. We say that and straight away forget his name as we're talking. John Wick Three, give me the cast, please. Uh, he was. Uh, I'll, I'll find it. Uh, let me just carry on. Uh, so and it follows how Riku Vice becomes an amazing uh, person that's supposed to kill his father because he's bad and yada 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 Mark Dukaskas and is the guy's name uh, um, and his friends and whatnot and stuff goes on Mark Dukaskas yeah, yeah zero yeah <sighs> <sighs> So, so the, is the action uh, good? Is the question. Yes and no. Like I said, I, I saw Equal Vice and I was expecting more of the the raid style of fighting. So a lot of Jutko and, and yeah, no, it's not Jutko. No, it's the Sinan blood. It's but, uh, well, it's a mix of 
a few things. It's a, but, yeah, but no, no, it, it follows more kung fu style of okay. fighting, which kind of kills it for me. A lot of because, theatricals, then. Yeah, and just some weird shit. Because literally, the first fight scene, he he dodges bullets, and I'm like, uh, okay, so this is not what I'm gonna expect. This is definitely not what I'm expecting. I'll give it a chance because it's still great martial art. That's the yeah. martial art TV series. And it wasn't bad. It's just after a while, it became kind of dull. Because it follows a lot. Of... It's basically Last Avatar meets fucking Netflix. I, the best way I can explain it. Okay. Uh, but it, it's not charming and funny as uh, The Last Airbender. Sorry, not The Last Avatar. What the fuck? The Last Avatar. Eh, might as well be. Able... Don't tell Jim Cameron that because he's going to come over here and... Fuck him. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna come out but, of his little submarine. But yeah, it, it's not bad. It's, okay. But it wasn't for me. Mm. I also saw another movie with Iku Vice. Yes. And where he played the bad guy for one. And again, it's a Netflix movie. Oh, is that the one where they where he's in a convoy? The night come, no, the night comes for us. The night comes for us. Let's have a look at it. Okay. And they also had issues because it's a Netflix special, so you already know how this is gonna go. <laughs> but I, I got some really, really good uh, action scenes in there, something I haven't seen in ages. And I was kind of happy, even though I wasn't. Oh, Joe, Joe Taslam's in this as well. Yeah, he's, he's the cool guy. Yeah, he's from The Raid as well. So. Yeah, exactly. They've, they got the people from The Raid and just did another movie, but for American audience. Okay. And it has issues, a lot of them. But I saw. A raid style fight scene between two uh, between three women. Oh, good. it was a two on one. Except it didn't follow the traditional uh, mad dog style of fighting. It kind of got the feeling that the good woman was way too fucking strong, to be honest. Okay. But, but I didn't mind it as much because in the end it was still very well made. The people that were doing the fight, the fight choreography, knew what the fuck they're doing, and the actresses did their best. In uh, replicating what they were told to do. Okay. It's just that, you know, those little quips and stuff that you start to notice after a while of imbalances and the shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's also a thing. Uh, oh boy, I have news for you afterwards. Okay. In the news section. Um, Can I, how do I get rid of the bot? Because he's still in the chat. Do I just press disconnect uh, on him? Mm, uh, just kick or leave or whatever the fuck it was. Leave. This command. Mm-hmm. Kick. Mm. Permission is just being alone with also works. Either have a role named. Oh right, right. You need to. Oh, there we go. He's disconnected. Because yeah. because you're the you're the party leader, so he, he listens to you, not to me. Mm, I haven't done stuff. Uh, what else? Um, I, I think I saw a couple of more movies. I actually watched the shit ton of movies okay. this week. I I have an idea for April since we're probably still gonna be on lockdown. <laughs> so my idea. Uh, is hey, this... I, I'm still in work, so. Um, my idea is this April Apocalypse. We just go with post-apocalyptic movie the whole April. Apocalypse or post-apocalypse? Well, post-apocalypse, technically, because none of them actually deal with the apocalypse itself, except the several that okay. I can think of. But still, technically, it's post-apocalypse, because if you think about it, the apocalypse is the moment that it begins. After that, it's probably too late for them to stop it. Right. I mean, that's just... I mean, but that's... Just, whatever. Well, yeah, that's my idea it, for April. But what, what if we include, like, Independence Day... That's that's an apocalypse movie. That's not a, a post apocalypse movie. Yeah, but that one doesn't. I mean, when you get to it, I'll define the, the the movies a little bit better. I was thinking more on the lines of uh, stuff like Mad Max. Okay. Oh yeah, that. Bit. So, some, something like, like the, the road. Max. Yeah. Yeah, Children of Men. Uh, oh, the road. The road was such a fucking garbage movie. Fuck. It's not so terrible. bad. It's, Sorry, horrible, it's, it's horrible. a downer. It's horrendous as a movie. It's Bird Box. Uh, Good book, um, I don't know, no, not the book. It's like Bird Box, except worse. <laughs> it's like Bird Box, except worse. Quote and, of the month. Well, the thing is, it's. Uh, and people usually uh, give it the pass because of the downer tone. Yeah. But it's, it's actually much worse. Uh, what else? Uh, what else did I say? I started watching some weird ass movies and I can't remember most of them now. And since I have a new laptop, I can't really check. Like, except give me a minute, I'll try and see. But some of them were old ones. Uh, 
I watched uh, one more TV series. Uh, did, did I tell you that I finished uh, Key and Lock? Sorry, Lock, Lock and Key. key. Uh, you told me yeah. you started it last week, but you didn't I, tell me that you finished I it. I finished. I finished. Okay. It. That was last week. It, I mean, it's not great, but it's not bad. It's just meh. Uh, I also saw The Goonies. I watched The Goonies willingly. The movie? Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a fun kids movie. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, you just double check, see what I what I watched. I'm thinking about this, uh, I told you this is a one good chair. I recommend. Oh. In the meantime, I played a bit more Dune too. Uh, oh, I saw Territorial Behavior, a good found footage movie. Okay. Another, another good one. Uh, what else did I see? Uh, I saw some fucking weird ass shit. I watched more of the guy that made uh, The Night Comes For Us, more of his repertoire stuff. Okay. Some of it was weird. Like, it, it's not bad, but it was with this one that was like... Uh, give, me, give me a second. I need to... Uh, one of them was uh, actually semi-decent, except it was too uh, too slow for me at times. Yeah. Uh, it's about a serial killer in uh, Japan and... Uh, a reporter in uh, uh, Jakarta, hmm. and the, the serial killers. St- uh, it's called Killers. I watched Killers. Right. So pretty decent. The um, speaking of weird and huh. kind of meh, but also pretty all right. I started playing Portal Two again. Oh, nice. And don't get me wrong, I really like that game, and it has some really cool puzzles in it. Mm-hmm. But the writing has not aged well. It never is. Because, like, when it first came out, like, I was laughing every, I want to say, 10 minutes because there was a decent joke. But now the more I play it and the more I go through levels, I'm like, can people around me just shut the fuck up and just let me play the game? Because it feels like it needs to put a quip at, at the end of every puzzle and at the start of every puzzle, and in the middle of the puzzle. And some puzzles take like two minutes to solve if you know what you're doing. So you just hear speech all the time. Mm-hmm. And again, it's a good game. Like, I still I still say that you should get it so we can play the, uh, play the co-op, because that's the best part about that game. But there's bits where it's just... Also, there's... You know how in Half-Life 1, and even in 2... There's loading screens, but the game doesn't kick you out of the game. It just keeps you inside the world where it just says loading for a bit and then you carry on. Uh-huh. This one does away with that. Instead of doing that, it just cuts to a loading screen every time. And considering that some levels you don't do anything apart from move to the next level and you don't even use teleports, you're just like, uh, it's like an unskippable cutscene basically. And there's a load screen in, in, at the start of the end of that. So by the end of it, you're like, I ju- can I just play the video game, please? Please? And to top things off, you know Hit- Hitman Absolution, don't you? Yeah. That's a bad Hitman game. Was it? I don't mind it too much. I mean, it's it's not great. I mean, it's not, it's not the worst one. Because that just goes to Hitman 1 just because it's old now and it stuff, but no, there was one. There was another one. I was about like Hitman Four, Blood Money Three. I think it was Blood Money. Blood Money's the tits. I I still if if we're not counting the two new ones, like the one and two, the ones that are no, still wait, getting what, updated. Give me that. I always forget them. Blood Money's the best one. Are you no, thinking of contracts? Maybe it was contracts. Can the the one where you just where you're just like primarily replaying uh, levels from uh, Hitman One. Yeah, and you couldn't do shit. There's a because yeah, because they, was con- di- they didn't introduce that stuff until uh, until Blood Money. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure it was the contracts where you couldn't actually stealth in the game, and there were very few options for silent kills. So most of the time you had to go gun hole. Oh, you like, know, uh, uh, that that's in two as well. But two made it a point. Yeah, but I remember in two where I I tried to play stealth, and then I, I accidentally pressed shift. And Agent 47 does, you know how he does like a little lunge and then stops? Immediately spotted. Mm-hmm. It's like, but really? But yeah, Absolution has uh, some decent missions. And so far where I'm up to, I just fucking mm-hmm. hate it. 
it's literally, I've put an outfit on of somebody else. I've disguised myself. And obviously, if you walk too close to people that are wearing the same stuff as you, they can detect you. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's, a, there's a mechanic in the game where you hold control and there's a little meter on the side that goes down. And all Hitman does is put his hand to, to his face. And that now he's harder to spot. And sometimes you go past somebody, you use the mechanic. And so the, the spotting like arrow thing goes down. And the moment you take the mechanic off, they spot you again and your disguise is blown. Oh. I mean, I didn't mind it. There was some missions that I thought like it was specifically made for you to go Olga, which I yeah, that enjoy. Yeah, that too. Oh, uh, the one that sticks to mind is when you go into the underground laboratory. I tried sneaking past it so many times. Uh, I, I did that. I did that one. I think I killed just three people, not counting the. Uh... Well, that's the thing. I'm trying not to kill outside of my target. That's what well, you know, should be played. And it, it, it should it be. Still feels like, but yeah, it still but feels, it feels like, like the game's going fuck you. You have to kill these people now. Yeah. And yeah, it literally does. I uh, it came to a point where I. I found the optimal solution to, to the to the way you're supposed to do it. And, you know, at first you're like, oh, there's this option and this option and this option. And then you go, no, 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 no. Here's the optimum path. Clearly the one intended. Take this path and do what you got to do. Otherwise you're fucked. Yeah, um... I, just, I just played the, um, I'm in the middle of playing the one where you fight the nuns. Oh, that was fucking, that was actually brilliant. That's not a bad. No, that that is a good mission. Except by the end of it, where you've killed all of them and you're supposed to exit, but then the game goes. I've still not reached that. But what annoyed me even more with uh, with this one is they put these in between missions where you're just trying to escape, mm -hmm. which honestly just feels like shitty padding to the game. Because what you'll get in blood money is yes, escape, but you know you know the level. And the only reason why it might take you longer to escape is if the exit is down the other end. Well, this one is like, you found the exit. Good job. Now find the exit again, but just don't kill anyone. You just have to leave. It's like, really? I'm just, just trying to play the video game, man. Just let me let me play the fucking game. And, uh... Yeah. You just get spotted way too... Even, I'm, playing uh, it, I'm not even playing it... Where did you get on, on Doom? Hmm? Where did you get on Doom 2? I'm, I'm past... The what's the one after Tricks and Traps? A refueling bit? No. 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 Uh, in, into into some of these series name Doom of the song. Two levels. Into, that's level ten, I think. Do two levels. There we go. So, Tricks and Traps is nine. Do, 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 do. And you from ten. That's your. I know that the song's name is Into Sunday City, which is fucking amazing. It's probably the most original one from the original lineup of songs, which is something. Fucking amazing the new track. Levels. For fuck's sake, just give me the levels of sequence, for God's sake. Levels list, thank you. So I am on... Oh, God. Okay, there we go. So... I am at the O of Destruction. I'm about to start O of Destruction. Uh, 11. So you've passed the uh, refueling beat base? Tricks and traps. I've beat the pit. Refueling base at the end where the fucking cyber demon killed me the last time. So, oh, Circle of Death, you mean? Yeah. It's just called O of Death here. But it is Circle of Death, yes. Oh, that, that's a Romero map. That's a really good Circle Romero map. Circle of Destruction. A... Or Circle, yeah, yeah, Circle of Death. Circle of Death. This is... Uh... Uh, Rumor map, the first one in the game, and it's really fun. Okay. Genuinely a good map. And you can tell it's a Rumor map from the design wise. And for the massive yeah, it... traps, because I know he likes to mm -hmm. do that. Not as much, but you meet the first Archvile there. Okay. Which reminds me, Doom Eternal came out. Yes, tell me, you've been watching. I, I have been staying away from it because I actually right, so really want to just get a, go get a PS4 the... and play it. <laughs> but... Oh, no, 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 no. Keyboard and mouse only. Yeah, you but do you, not do. you know that my computer might like explode trying to run that thing. So get a, so save money and get an actual proper uh, PC. Yeah, but I've That's got other things I'll to do. buy and do. But anyway, tell me about Doom Eternal because you're, you're the Doom expert on the show, as everybody knows. So tell me. Yeah. Well, he, he, I've watched the nothing they, apart from the they stuff before. Genuinely tried. They genuinely tried and made the, made the mouse as uh, variable as possible to allow different approaches to any combat scenario. 
Okay. Which is a good and a bad thing. Because half the times most of the battles are just gimmicky shit. <laughs> and I and I get what they were going for it. I'm fine with it. But it's not good enough for me. I mean it's it, they made they, they made the game feel uh, big, but they also fucked up their own canon. It feels like there is a major stories between 2016 and this Doom missing. Oh. And even and they make the one fucking cardinal sin you should never do. What's that? They made Doom guy speak. Oh, he speaks. In a flashback, he does. And I'm sitting there going, oh no 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 no. He speaks in the comics as well, though. Fuck the comics. No one cares about them. Yeah, they do. Rip and tears from the comics. It's an actual line from the comics themselves. Yeah, he also repeats it here, but no one gives a shit about the comics for a long time. But does he actually say no. rip and tear here? Yes, he does. Yeah, it's boy. probably the. Yeah, boy. And he does it in this very, very sad way. How should I put it? Very cringy. He's like, rip and tear. Like with a growly voice. And I'm like, no, 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 no. You just. Imagine. Half Life 3 comes out, and suddenly Gordon speaks. It, this, there's Nothing some things, personnel, kid. Exactly. It's, it's, uh, some, th some things just you don't do because they're, they're already set in motion. I don't want my uh, sadistic hero to just be, you know, uh, how should I put it? Uh, st starts talking from nowhere. Yeah. Because reasons. I want for him to stay the same as he has been all the time. I don't want changes. Do you I actually see his face at any point, by the way, or do you not? Um, I know you can. I know you can see his face uh, in bits and pieces. Kinda. You can piece together how he looks like. He looks like the Marine from Doom Three. Okay. Which I'm fine with. Oh, there he is. That, there, there, there's his face in Quake Champions. I've just found it, and yeah, it does kind of look like the Marine from Three. We don't talk about Quake Champions. Fuck that game. <laughs> Fuck Bethesda, and I also like you know my my equip with the mancub mancubus in Doom twenty sixteen. The 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 two cybernetic looking, yeah. No, they're too goofy looking. Not cybernetic. Well, they fixed. Yeah, they now, look like the when, Doom two ones. No, 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 no. They even kind of improved them because now when you're going to execute them, you see their green eyes glowing with fucking malicious intent towards it. It's oh. fucking brilliant. The design on those is great. Uh, yeah, I've, I mean, no, I've I noticed think... that all of them have great design in general. Like, all, all, well, the, all the monsters have, like, great expressions. And... No, because uh, for some reason, the Kaku demons still look very wonky to me. But there's also the fact that for some reason, they made the pen elementals really fucking tanky for some reason. I don't know why they did that. But it also suffers from a lot of things I fucking despise in modern day gaming. One of which is, well, they introduced him to the Marauder in Doom 20. Yeah, in, uh, the, 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 he's basically another Doom guy. Well, guess how much he lasts for when you fight him for the how first much? time? About two minutes. Oh. Here's the fucked up part. He gets this cool ass looking intro. He's got the he sword and the axe. Uh, sorry, 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 he has an axe. Yeah. And an axe. And the axe is basically the thing that the Doom guy uses to actually kill big ass me. And we'll get to that point. Okay. Where the oh, so, so, the, fucking lost it. so the sword he, is not just a sword. It's not just a sword. Okay. And he has the axe. And you completely fucking destroy him while he has it and you don't. Like, mm -hmm. where the fuck is this? A, uh, why, why, is the, why is he a threat again? You make him sound like a threat, and Doom guy behaves like he's a threat. But afterwards, you're like, no, it's not how this shit's supposed to work. If you run away, fine. If you got saved, fine. But it's just, I don't know. That, that, that felt so fucking underwhelming. I was like, I expected a big fight. I got nothing. Okay. I just got, I just got a guy that was just basically Doom. It reminds me, it's like the Jacob fight from Dusk, except much easier, much easier. That like Jacob, that Jacob fight was the shit. Uh, Jacob, that would have been fucking difficult if you don't know what the fuck you're doing. It is yeah. difficult. You're essentially but playing against another player. Who has Jacob permanent? Uh, yeah, but he has permanent speed boost. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's, it's like the first time you fight Gascoin in Bloodborne. He's literally another hunter before he goes turns into a werewolf. It's a pretty good fight. Yeah. And uh, like I said, it's just it, it goes away. It, it's like there's also one before when they introduced the. Uh, New cybernetic flying bastards that look like they were taken from Quake 4. Oh, the Doom Chariot are they or something like that? I forget forget what they are. 
some shit like that. Doom Eternal, new mobs. Let's so it's the not Arachnotron. I mean, dude, I, I genuinely the Prowler. No, it's not the Prowler. It's the carcass. No, the, the carcass is the one that has a little floaty chair. No. The, oh no, the, the carcass is the one that has legs, the spider legs. No, it's. Not the Dread Knight. Not the Revenant. We all know what the Revenant is. I'll just go did you, did you see out. did you see the um the the new skins that you can get for some of the the, the enemies? Yeah, no thank you. You can get Doot Revenant, so you doots around. I know, I I have it. Oh you have it. Bastard. Yeah. Uh no thank you. I pro probably not because that was too meany for me. Uh, the Doom Hunters. Oh yeah, yeah those guys. The weird looking they, Chariot. Yeah, so he's a mini boss in the beginning of the game. Yeah. Much like everyone now. And then suddenly he becomes a fucking normal mob. Well yeah, that that's a bunch of there that's a thing with old Doom games as well. No, no it isn't, because uh, here's the thing. When new monsters are introduced in old games, you don't get one. You get you, you like get a fucking couple, eight yeah. of them. <laughs> you get eight of them. You get Remember, qu quite a few. The first the first uh, mission where you found Arachnotrons, Arachnotrons was uh, that simple. Yeah, because they're out in an open what? field. It's about I think about six, twelve. Is it twelve? I don't remember. Three on each side, four sides. Well, uh, the first time you see a revenant in the uh, in the uh, level beforehand, you start off with one, and then they become like three or four. Yeah. Like and. If we get the idea, but here, he has a boss bar, uh, health bar, a couple of them, depending on which thing you shoot. Yeah. He's he, he takes you to an arena, Ooh. actually two arenas where you fight with him. And he gets this, this cool fucking moment and then suddenly, poof, and he's gone. <laughs> yes, and he becomes uh, just, you know, Arjvals appear. And I don't think that, uh, I think that they kind of fucked him up. I don't think they even get an introduction. Huh. Okay. Which is kind of sad, because Archibald are supposedly some of the... <laughs> are actually one of the... Oof. It's just the oof. Okay. Oh, there's like an hour and a half of cutscenes. That's all right. But what, 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 what I'm looking at here uh, is... I also I also saw a lot of uh, glitches, as in uh, you're clipping through textures. Oh, which that's is a shame. Uh, it's on in some places you can tr you can trigger them and see them. They're usually not a problem, but you know, I mean, I have to point out the shitty stuff. Yeah. But, uh, let's let's uh, let's go with the story. So somehow you awake on your Doom Citadel ship slash whatever the fuck it is. Yeah. You Vegas there. He opens the fucking thing. He starts going down, killing fucking health priests apparently, and goes into the backdrop before the fuck happened to Doom guy. Okay. For, that, for those watching the uh, screen. I'm playing Matt McMuscles. He's put a little video up for Doom Eternal, so I'm just going to play that on the screen uh, while we talk about and, it. And stuff goes on and on. And one priest and second one in the camp like maker is uh, hiding him. Then you find fucking Samuel Hayden being busted up and completely broken without an explanation what the fuck happened. Okay. And then, and then the fucking crucibles in you? And you're like, and I'm like, but Samuel Hayden took that away from you. Yeah. The end of 2016. But it turns out this is not your crucible. Because every Slayer has his own crucible. Your crucible is back on the original planet where he, the legend began, where he killed the Titan and left his crucible there. And this is where the problems begin. Okay. Because it's specifically noted that if if the, the crucible is taken from the, the demon Titan, it will resurrect him. But he breaks the blade and only leaves with that for you to charge Question is, why the fuck didn't he do that in the beginning? <laughs> why? Uh, he, 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 he. It's a video also, game. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, this goes into you meet the betrayer 
uh, not much is taken, it's like a fucking two, two minute cutscene of him saying some cryptic shit and giving you a two sex muck and uh, literally the end of the game. Right. No explanation whatsoever. Now, granted, I haven't checked, I haven't seen any logs, so I don't know exactly why he's called the betrayer, what the fuck does he give you. Then you use it to stop the, uh, to stop the icon of sin being under the control of the Kanmarkir. And the, 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 the icon of sin wakes up and goes to the, the uh, earth. You kill the Kalma kill, which is basically a rehash of Doom of Eve Eternity's Archangelos fight, mm-hmm. but it's much worse. <laughs> oh, trust me, the Angel, the Archangelos fight is a fucking nightmare to deal with. It's a difficult fight. This one is not. None of the fights felt any difficult in the, the boss fights themselves. Mm-hmm. Even the Icon of Sin is basically, oh, you need to break eight parts of his body, then you can just, uh, just fucking cut scene away. And I'm like, oh, fuck's sake, come on, guys. Is this everything we've done now? Just, uh, I mean, break one of uh, br- uh, normal mods, like one of eight, that's what break all of them. This is fucking unimaginable, unimaginative. Who could have done that? Yeah. But, you know, this is, this, this is just bribes. The Icon of Sin fight is still much better than the one in Doom 2, but mods and, uh, sorry, wards, wards that took Doom 2 uh, stuff made uh, the Icon of Sin fight really difficult. You should see the one in Plutonia. It's much better. Okay, so this is isn't Eternal basically just a remake of two, spirit no. spiritually. Uh, no, because it's hell Since on most earth. Of the time, well, no, most of the time you spent away from Earth. You go to Phobos and die. Oh, sorry, you go to Mars, then you go to, to the, the place where the, the, to the Seraphim's place, okay. then you go to hell again. But this time it's actual hell, so you can see how actual the fucking ancient energy is made. And it's stupid, but I'll take it. And I'm sitting there going, like, fuck, I mean, I, some things I'd rather not know. And it turns out that the Kalmar Kier, the main antagonist of the game, turns out to be just the female, or literally the female one from Doom 2016. Mm-hmm. She gets corrupted by Argent Energy, starts believing that she's better than everything else, and does stupid shit and condemns the whole world. Stupid as bricks. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know, that one, that one just felt stupid. I, I don't know. Uh... The... Uh, what else? Uh, the 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 fucking they took the two the Doom two and if you don't know you should see how they actually designed the weapons and they made them work. All right. They legit they legitimately made them look amazing and kept to the, the original Doom system except the plasma rifle. I despise the fucking the sound effects on the plasma. It feels quaky. Well, the like, twenty bubbly. the twenty sixteen plasma rifle feels like the one from Doom Three, which is just yeah. nothing. It feels like you're shooting farts at enemies. There's no impact. There's nothing. Oh, still better than a shotgun in Doom Three. We don't talk about the shock, even about the super shock on the Doom Three. We don't don't talk we about don't those. Talk. Uh, I mean, the super we don't talk about made... any of the weapons in Doom Three. Listen, they made the shot the super shotgun. Actually, feel the SSG. They made it feel great. It felt like a SSG, and I was like, "Thank you, that's amazing." In, in the new one, in, in yeah, Eternal. in 2016, the, yeah, because in 2016 the, the SSG was complete fucking garbage. It was so, it yeah. was top tier yeah, the moment you upgraded it though. And I, I don't know. I just oh, there you go. Plague of Gripes is streaming Doom Eternal. So guess what I'm watching after we're done with this. <laughs> uh, and here, here's the thing. So you see a box of. 16 shells, you pick up and it's only two. Just why? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Like, I'm sitting there because I, I, I watched Game of City to Playground for this one. Okay. And I, and I specifically uh, made a point of checking some details. So you see 16 then check down, and go back, and I'm like, wait, that only gave you two shots of shells? What? <laughs> Excuse me. What the fuck? Right, hold on. Even... I'm, you carry on. I'm just going to go turn my heating down a little because I'm fucking boiling. Uh. <laughs> Uh, uh, and uh, the, sto- the story just fucking kills it for me most of the time. I, I know they try to make an actual universe for Doom, but it just doesn't work because the more you go into it, the less sense it makes. It's also implied that somehow he uh, crashed on the, on the Sentinel's planet and they took him in and he was uh, broken mentally, uh, suffering from PTSD, shouting constantly, rip and tear bloods and demons, and that's how uh, the Argin energy comes to the Sentinel so they get corrupted. And here is where the issue becomes, like, exactly, how did he get into there? How did he land on the uh, planet? Why was he taken there? But the best thing ever is when they find his old uh, Doom helmet, I'm like, that's a, that's a 
very good detail on the old helmet. Fucking amazing, stellar job. I love it was put in this game. It just, I feel that it's kind of overhyped for what people were saying it was gonna be way too overhyped. And I'm worried well, about how to do them. They, they, how, how they, did people... have to, they did have to go with, you know, how much hype 2016's been getting ever since it no, came no. out, so. Uh, no, because the people that talked about the game I've been uh, hitting too much of the digital yeah. And I do get it. It's a limited, it's a uh, doing a time consuming base, and you can't really do stuff really fast. And I fucking hate it. Because uh, people that have genuinely put interest in the game, yeah. in the games that they're reviewing, are not to review them anymore. They just sh- 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 shovel out the game that they spend like fucking four hours playing it. At best, they just buy some shit up, talk for 20 minutes, next game. Mm. And I was sitting there going, because like, I can't fucking, because even now I, I saw a game of City Playground, I knew the guy was playing on fucking easy. <laughs> I'm sitting there going, like, this is easy. I mean, it's, it's not that the, the game would look hard, but I knew because the damage the enemies made was none, and there were barely any on the screen. And I was like, this has to be easy or normal. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt and say it's normal, but I do understand why he does it. Like, he needs to uh, shovel these uh, these ones as fast as possible to generate any traffic because people won't watch it if it's uh, six months later. People want it there and then, yeah. They, 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 exactly. they don't want it before. I get it. I just don't like that whole fucking principle that has happened. But some people, some people have become complete fucking stooges and just talk shit at this point. And I refer to some some of them. Uh, yeah, Samuel Hayden is on the Doom Guy side for some reason. He was he on the Doom Guy side before. Well, no, he wasn't. He was the side of humanity, but it's explicitly said that Doom Doom guy is not. Uh... He's not human. Uh, he's a he's an angel. No, he's not an angel. He's a human. That okay. got, uh, yeah, he's human. Okay. Uh, but there's also the prospects of the DLCs and continuation of the story because some things were open. Uh, okay. Yeah, but I was like, well... I'll have a look at it. When all oh, got the chains. Uh, um, uh, Samuel Hayden is a phonetically similar to Satan. Satan! Yeah. Is he? It's phonetically similar. Phonetically, alright. But, you know, it's just. I don't know. So. I mean, I'd say play the game, you'll probably enjoy it, but it's not great. It's, yeah, um, but you're cool. also a Doom purist, so you can't uh, be satisfied also, no, regardless. No, it's, it's, it's good. It's really good, but it's not as good as people say it is. You feel what I'm talking about when you play it. When you play it. Like, okay. Because uh, I'm currently still playing through Eternity, and I got clustered on a fucking fight on the fucking free, free map level. Fuck that level. And I know a worse one's coming. Like, that, <laughs> that game understood how to make difficulty shit. Like, I'm in, in the arena. And usually, I don't mind it. And it's an optional place. But it's fucking mandatory. But it's optional. Right. Because on Ultra Violence, it gives you a BFG from the last fight, which is also an arena-style fight. And no, that one's also difficult. If you don't have a BFG, if you have the BFG, it's easy. But this one, I don't have the BFG. So hmm. it spawns up uh, in the beginning, like, three pinkies, two Kakodimas, two Lost Souls. Keep in mind, Lost Souls. So you know where this is going. <laughs> then, then you, know, the you know there's an elemental hiding in a corner somewhere. No, 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 no. Then, and then it spawns three Hell Knights plus three uh, Spooky Skeletons on ledges plus do, do, do. four four my Captains, which is basically Chain Gunners on steroids, plus two Arachnotrons, plus two Pain Elementals and more Lost Souls. Then yeah, because Elementals like, like spit them out, don't they? Oh, everybody fucking hates them, including me. Which is weird, because in this game, it just didn't feel like uh, they just felt like really tanky boys. Fair enough. There's also yeah. I think uh, th- they actually made, wait, 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 made a point in one of the gameplay demos to say well, the elementals are a bit more of a threat. Well, no, they were a threat back then as well. Well, it's just that people fucking hated them and usually prioritize them over everything else. Yeah, <laughs> for, for real. Yeah, because they split. But, they spit lost souls at you all the time. So uh, there is also uh, afterwards. Well, this is just wave two. Wave three starts to spawn like fifth teams behind you on the ledge that you drop drop from. <laughs> And you know, pinkies and, and nightmare demons and a fucking arch file. Mind you that the, they are time based. They're oh. not on, on the kill based. They're not trigger based. They're just time based. Yeah. 
So oh, it's both get, of us. Better get rid of the archvile as soon as you can. You sure, but at this point I'm like 50 fucking... Oh, and also two asshole demons. I forgot the asshole demons. Which are the asshole demons? Uh, to play Doom, play Eternity. Just download now. Play okay. It. Get to level, I think it was 9. It's relatively easy. And you will see which one are the asshole demons. Well, by the way, uh, uh, you can... Uh, they, they are resurrected by the file. So you have to kind of position where you kill them as well. Okay. Basically, it, I, and here's the thing, I almost passed it a couple of times, but I made a stupid mistake and I died. And it just gets frustrating because I know I can beat it. I just play like a complete tool. Okay. Also, uh, I kind of like the design of the new Icon of Sin. It's, uh, it's just a giant dude with a skeleton head. Well, not exactly, but let's go with that one. It's it, it's weird because the icon of sin in the original was just basically a, a Belfigo uh, painting on a wall that spit out enemies. This yeah. is kind of the same, but the, this one is like a fucking fifty uh, meter tall building, fifty more like hundred fifty, but whatever. Yeah, because all you can see is his torso and his head. You can't really see much yeah, else of it. But the proportions are kind of off, in my opinion. Uh, that doesn't matter. I will Google him now. And I'll put them up on the screen. And, and I, I just feel like that one's kind of interesting. Uh, is, he, is he the final boss? Yeah, he's the final boss. Hayden, then why uh, am I Hayden seeing guides... pictures of, of a cybernetic one? Because uh, he is one, technically. But did they resurrect he... the icon of sin? Yes, they did. They resurrected has... the fucking icon of sin, didn't they? Yeah, they did, and they have three phases, I think. It was to the first one is basically him having a cybernetic carapace on top of him, then you break and go for parts. It is, okay. like I said, it, it, it it's not it's not interesting. It's just, I mean, the original icon of Sin boss was pretty fucking stupid, but whatever. He didn't did it. I don't think he even moved in the original, did he? He was oh, just he a doesn't. picture on a wall. Okay, so. Uh, and the icon of sin is the son, the son of the betrayer. Right. Why can I? Not, I found a picture. I found a picture of the icon of sin earlier. From the actual gameplay, why can I not find him now? Here uh, was the Doom fandom one, and this was never actually explained in, in the game. So basically, this is from logs. Yeah, that, I, I found like. that. I've got this one anyway. Don't worry about it. I'm just trying to like. Find a way it to put listen, it up on it the screen, look, but... It doesn't look great. It looks meh. Yeah. It's just a big... Yeah, it's the Belphegor, but... Oh, shit. There we go. Ah, oh, let's just leave it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, I think that the game, the game like I said, I, it deserves praise for them actually sticking to the guns and trying to get the best possible... Uh, the, the best possible one. Yeah, but I, I, I just feel like they could have put a bit more work, but I don't know some of the issues, figure, fix out the fucking problems with the story, make it coherent because it's not coherent at all. Well, it's yeah, absolutely again, coherent. there's logs to read. Doom 2016 barely had a story to begin with, until you no, read the story, logs. In, no story is you wake up, some fucking idiot open gate, uh, gate to hell, you go and close. Don't close the gate. Done. Yeah. Done done this is well somehow you're awakened on your fucking ship and uh, apparently it's also being done by the fucking sentinel so the camera kills uh, matrix is close to the one of your uh, ships or shoes so and she takes it over once and she doesn't kill you right there and then for some fucking reason and then she does it the second time for some fucking reason but she doesn't know that you have the crucible that you use to power and hit and makes fun of the fucking iron you using the same thing that you want to prevent humanity from having to power your own shit but then the, it's just like I said, it's, it's it's absolutely incoherent stuff. Like, what the fuck did he leave his fucking crucible in the first fucking time? <laughs> he fought? Did he never fight Titan two? Did he just go? Oh no! It turns out that he can actually not pull the fucking thing out, but he can just break it, take take the handle and recharge it, and then do it again. So what the fuck did he leave it there in the first place? Like, what is going on? Can can someone at least explain to me what the fuck this shit is? Like I say, a story. It's not good. And the that game, kind of pisses the gameplay, me off. However, 
the gameplay is fine. It looks like I said, it look it looks like they tried really fucking hard to make it to nail it, yeah. and it works. It works, and that's all that matters. Like it, it's literally all that matters. Yeah, it looks like twenty sixteen's gameplay, but polished and like. I don't like the streamline shit. I don't like the UI, but I, that's just you me. can change the UI. Thank fuck. The yeah, UI yeah. There's there's options off. to change the change just about every cosmetic aspect of that game. I just fucking hate if I had to do it. Yeah, you're pretty sure you can change the UI. And if not, you're on uh, PC, you can just mod it. It's, <laughs> you know. I don't want to fucking mod it. Anyway, shall we discuss some news, considering that there's barely been any this week apart from viruses? Um, here is news for you. Transition. Guess, Sorry, go on. Guess what's the name of the two newest uh, Marvel heroes? Wait, is that the one about the cuck? What cuck? No, what well, no, well, new Marvel heroes, tell me. Well, we have the safe space and snowflake. Seriously? Safe space? And snowflake. Are they one? Safe space, Marvel. One what? And the snowflake, because they're a duo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? The independent. Yeah, but... I I am using ad blocker for a reason. If you ask me to fucking. <sighs> don't I'm you just love it when a, when a website just goes? Are you using ad blocker? Please don't use ad blocker. Like no. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Okay, it's safe space and snowflake. Meet Marvel's two new superheroes for the woke generation. Oh, uh, Daily Mail, you can fuck off as well. Also, uh, the third one is Trailblazer. So they're non-binary. Is that what that is? <sighs> but they chose to name them safe space Snowflake and, and Safe Space. I mean, I completely understand why they're making fun of it. They're not. They're, wait, what? They're being being—they're not being ironic oh, with the names? They're not. Seriously? A pair of psychic-powered twins who are hyper-aware of modern culture. <laughs> I also want to point out, check Trailblazer. Trailblazer. Oh, sorry, I just found a guy called Screen Time. No, no, no. Okay. Uh, Trailblazer, Marvel. Let's have a look at this. Which one is... Wait, which one's Trailblazer out of all these? Take a fucking guess. Because it ain't the dude with the, with the sun. That's Screen Time. Take a fucking guess which one's the trailblazer. Just wait, trailblazer is it the bigger girl? Good lord, stop asking me to take off my fucking app locker for God's sake. Just just go on Google images. I You'll have I have found the image. I will just open this and I'll put it up on the screen. Um there we go. That's what I wanted to do. So uh yoink. And the bad and the bad guy is called B negative. B dash negative. So these are the two twins called Snowflake and Safe Space. This is screen time. Is this Trailblazer? Is it the, the big the bigger girl? Yeah. A fucking unfortunate name, I'll I'll give it that. They could have done a better name with uh, work with the name of that. But their but their overall designs are fucking terrible. Oh, it gets better. See the one on the right, the one with the green goggles, the cyclops looking motherfucker. Screen time. Yeah, he is basically always connected to the internet. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, people are not happy at all. You don't no one, say. No one is happy. Literally no <laughs> Like you, you can't you can't make, tell me that this is for fucking you when you name two of your fucking characters say space and snowflake. Like what kind of Do you think that those are good words? Do do you honestly believe that those things are good words in any fucking context context at this point? 
fucking snowflake. Hi. Please kill it with fire, so it's possible. I uh. I feel genuinely disgusting right now. Oh. You, Is you this like a ninety-year-old man writing this? Because that's what it feels like. You you need to ask Phil about this. See how he feels about it. Has he has he expressed any opinions? I don't know. I don't have fucking Twitter. He's probably not happy. No one's fucking happy. I will message Phil. He's not online. Damn it. Do not worry. I will find him, and I will message him. <laughs> oh God! I didn't know about this. Why did you tell me about this? I feel all icky now. These are super cute. These are. What what are these designs, man? The answer you're looking for is terrible. And no shit, Marvel are getting backlash. What did you say? I'm gonna kill shit. You turn into a robot. Yeah, you did as well. I'm saying no shit, Marvel getting backlash. These these designs in general are just shit. Yeah, I did. <laughs> well, no shit. I mean, under designed, overly pandering, fucking mocking. Would but no, it feels style. like they're mocking, and then it turns out that they're, they're not even being ironic with the names. Exactly, they're pandering. What the fuck wrote? Invented these. Some fucking stooge. I'll get the name. Written by a writer for the Stephen Colbert show. With oh, art by Ironheart's artist Sorry, uh, Luciano he, in, his, in his interview, they asked him if he was a superhero fan, a fanboy. And he was like, no, because every time I watched them, kid, these guys are too cool. And, every, and everybody just, I was like, the fuck did you just say? So you thought that they were too cool for you to read about them? Yet now you're making fucking comic books? What? The fuck? That over entitled smug bastard. Fuck me, man. Like, I don't like Marvel, but like, this is, this is just stupid. Oh, Phil messaged me back. Why well, did? Yeah. Does To ask him, say, Phil, do you know about the new Marvel mm, heroes? He hasn't, he hasn't read anything on them. Stupid. I'm just gonna. I'm just, I'm just gonna give him a link. Oh no, he knows. He knows. I've I've got the link for the for the article though. One sec, just so you can have a look I'm... at them. Oh god damn it! Let me paste this. No, he hasn't read anything about them. No, I know he hasn't, but I'm, I'm just sending him the. As in how the actual story. Is. Doesn't need to read. All he needs to do is fucking see the designs and cry internally. God, those are bad designs. Jesus Christ. I mean, like I said, I don't, I don't like Marvel, but fuck. Screen time looks like Ben 10, a Green Lantern, and Cyclops fucked. Mm, that's a spicy fucking Thursday. And made a weird looking whatever the fuck that is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I think mostly Ben 10, but constantly connected to the internet that's just fucking stupid we're all constantly connected to the internet that's why we have phones well, Christ almighty let me put it like this now you don't need, when he's on the team you don't need to actually google shit he will just instantly google it for you <laughs> hold on hold on hold on I'm buffering hold on Sorry, no, he was connected to every social media. Some fucking stupid shit like that. I was like, uh, is that even a superpower? Because that's fucking cancer. <sighs> Poor Phil. I mean, the people who genuinely like Marvel, I feel for them right now. I, I, I just, 
I mean, fuck the fish face and stuff. Like, I, I saw that. I didn't even believe. I don't matter how much I it hate you. It genuinely that, sounds like somebody's taking the piss. But at who's? But at everyone's expense. Not just taking people take digs at the right and the left. It takes digs at everyone. Everyone. And that's the most insulting thing. Because he thinks he can get away with it. And then he's going to get caught for the protection they have. And he simps. Simping for him for some fucking reason. And you sit there going like, are you fucking demented, guys? What is going on here? There's a lot of simping going on. That's a really good point. Fuck also, fun, fa ass. fun fact. You know Justin Trondos, so I've got coronavirus. Yeah. Well, Justin doesn't have it, but she gave it to Id Idris Elba. For fuck's sake. Oh, I want you to think that one up. So she gave it to Idris Elba, but not to her husband. <laughs> Let's not talk about this fucking virus. Ch speaking of that virus, do you know who's check, the... Ch check the Discord. Check the Discord. Check the Discord. Listen, it's, it, it's, it, it's yourself, but it's excuse, but fucking man, that's fucking hilarious. That is absolutely hilarious. Well, I was gonna scream the C word, but I didn't want to scream it just to be safe. But fuck me, that's that, that, that's a good meme. Um, do you know, considering that you know, obviously we made fun of the virus last week, and we're still making fun of it. But in the most, yeah. in the most, you know. Oh yeah, uh, my new headphones are gonna arrive this Tuesday. Yeah. Maybe a day earlier. So we should we should be able to start like video casts. Also, apparently my uh, my laptop was supposed to come tomorrow, but it came today. Yeah. Video casts, boy. Uh, what I was gonna say is the we made fun of the virus last week. Yes. In the most, like, funny way possible. We weren't being offensive or anything like that. Also, we're, we didn't undermine it, which what I'm saying is it's not any less any less of an issue, this uh, this virus. However, I don't, see, I don't feel like people get it. I don't feel like people understand that it's still an issue and it's still a problem and they should stay home and stay safe and not be an eight-year-old man arguing with me about giving him a takeaway cup. And not a teapot. Oh, I mean, let me put it like this: uh, people are stupid. Yeah, people are dementedly retarded. I don't even know if that those two words connect to each other. But uh, yes, yesterday, me, it's me and one of the one of the girls, and it's me and Sophia, and we're behind the bar, and we're just chilling because it's a quiet day, and nobody's out because obviously people are too scared to come out in order not to get sick. Most of the clientele of the cafe were either staff that work at the store or old people. You know, the people that can get affected by the, the, the least susceptive, the most susceptive to it? They were the ones out. Anyway, this old guy comes out, greased up to the fucking brim, and he's like, Hey, would you do tea? I'm like, uh, yeah. I'll have a tea, please. And I'm like, sure, yeah, it's in a takeaway cup. Oh, this cup's over there in the machine. I'm like, uh, yeah, we're not allowed to give those. Why not? Like, well, it's for safety. It's for, you know, as a pr safety precaution. What, you think I'm going to drop it? I'm like, N no. I'm like, there's a fucking virus going around. I'm not I'm not giving this to people because, you know, it's cross-contamination and they might get affected by it. I don't want it then. I wanted a teapot. I'm like, good for you. Go somewhere else. No, no nowhere else is going to give you a fucking teapot. It's like, Jesus Christ, like... It's for your own safety. <laughs> I'm not offering a takeaway cup to be a dick. I'm offering it because... Ah, whatever. Speaking of that, I made a video this week. Uh, mm -hmm. It's on YouTube. I'll leave a link to it. I will... You know what? I'll just... No, I'm not even going to play in the background because it's going to fuck up the audio, but... Or actually, you know what? I am going to play it. We're going to keep quiet for two minutes while the video plays. Uh, so, uh, duh, duh, duh. so where is it? I need, uh, uh, 
Oh, and it's the third one to show up in the search. That's good. So I'm going to play this on the, on the screen. Play it on the big screen. Shut up, shut up, shut up. So we will be back in two, two minutes and 40 seconds while the video plays. Let me just throw this up. Oh, God, that's the wrong one. Transition. Uh, is that even... Is it playing? Yeah. What the hell's going on here? Eh? No, it's not playing. Oh, uh, what the fuck? Why is this doing the... Why is it... Whoa, 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 whoa. Select... There you go. There's the video. All right. We'll be back in two minutes and 40 seconds. Hello there. Are you one of those people who has a lot of tantrums? Hmm? Are you constantly peeved at the world? Do you randomly sc <sighs> scream at staff at stores or cafes? Because you think you're better than them. Do you throw a fit every time there's an item you wanted, but it wasn't available? Do you think you're better than everyone around you? Do you want to speak to the manager for no apparent reason, but for the sake of getting something for free? Is your voucher expired, but you wanted to use it anyway? Did you belittle that girl behind the bar to the point where she had an emotional breakdown and had to go cry in the back for 15 minutes? Is your husband tired of your random moaning and complaining and constant mood swings? Is the man that your husband lets you sleep with to expand your sexual horizons tired of it as well? Well, there's one thing you can do. This one simple trick will solve many of your problems. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's very simple and you won't believe what it is. Shut the fuck up. There's a lot worse going on in the world, you know? There's a lot worse than there no not being any lemon in the fridge or no skinny milk for that matter. Did you know that skinny milk actually has more sugar than all the other milks that are available? I mean, there's more sugar in it because they have to, you know, I wouldn't even explain it to you because you probably think you're better or you probably think you know better. Just shut the fuck up. There's people dying in the world. Your tantrums don't benefit anybody. They don't even benefit you. Because people hate you for it. Alright? Karen. Shut your ass up. Thank you for watching. Yo, what a condescending asshole. There we go. That's the video. Okay, we tell we're stalling for time because there ain't no news. <laughs> uh, well, everything's on fucking hold out. Um, the Premier League is going to be postponed. There's talks about uh, being cancelled altogether, which is fucking unfair in my, in my opinion. Uh, the Euro 2020 is pushed back to 2021. Uh, it's, it's just getting bad. It's yeah, it's bad. getting bad, but that's what people get for ignoring it for oh, so long as well. Boris Johnson next week is going to try and pass a bill that if any pensioner caught out uh, caught outside on the day is going to be uh, liable, okay, fine. They should be. They fucking should be. It's for their own fucking safety. Well, well you know, I'm fucking, I mean, I mean, I also saw a fucking article on Vice that, uh, that trans people are complaining they can't get their surgeries because guess what people are prioritizing actual surgery uh, sorry life change uh, life uh, threatening surgeries not actual ones because every surgery is a surgery regardless and the, the, the uh, life-saving ones on top of it and the rest of it is just you know postponed for a couple of weeks till everything calms down and they're complaining about that because i don't know reasons it's just something's just fucked i mean I think Bill Gates said it best. We're not prepared for this. No one ever is. But we yeah. are especially woefully prepared. We're woefully prepared because people ignored it for so long. Why, why is Korea mm. all right? Because the moment they detected it, they were like, all right, quarantine, straight away. Well, it's not only that. They have the 
they have the mentality for it because uh, in, especially in China and Korea wearing mask is normal and okay for us yeah it. but also China, China, the- China they didn't know about it like they denied it for the longest time because it's a, also a communist regime so the party knows about it but nobody else has to so that was yeah, a major and, issue as see, well see and, and, and now since China has to be held liable for this they won't be Yep, because now we just because now there's a trade war going on, and I'm sitting there going, "What the fuck is this shit?" I it's just stupid. Everything's just fucking stupid. Just a lot of dumb shit going on. A lot of really, really stupid, really unnecessary shit. Just stay inside, kids. Like supermarkets are gonna stay open during quarantine, so if you really need something from the store, but no, but no toilet paper. No toilet paper because people are retarded. Yeah. The virus does not affect your asshole. It affects your lungs. But I guess people don't know that. Uh, if the if you, if you don't have to go outside, if you don't have to go to a job or anything like that, stay the fuck inside. Because you might be healthy and you might not get affected by it. But there's a high chance that you might be a carrier or well, yeah. you might put other people at risk. Uh, the UK still has open borders for some reason. It does. Uh, it's got, they're gonna. They're killing them next week, I think. I mean, the UK. Home, the UK, as per usual, are three weeks late to the problem. Well, listen, I'm gonna let them have this one. Fine. It's not as bad as fucking uh, Canada that ref- like that. Well, Justin refuses to close the borders. Yeah. And now you see why why people are memeing him so badly right now. Or Justin, uh, Bulgaria. Fucking... Bulgaria is actually give, being given as an example, as a good example, as like the the quick response we've had and how quickly we've you know put ev- shut everything down and you know. Kinda yes, but really no, because I sp- speak to my friends. Apparently, the the, the next week mm, they're gonna have a vote to closing. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. We shall oh, see. I know what the, the only thing I'm worried about is my sister is supposed to give birth pretty soon. And that's the one thing I'm actually worried about. I know, I'm worrying about my parents, but because you know, parents are yeah, much older yeah. than me. But people just know what the fuck they're doing. I mean, everybody's born out of them. Everyone that's working is open. Yep. Everybody's and at risk. I'm at of... risk. And I'm at work every fucking day. So. And see, the thing is, uh, most of my friends are already in love with home office. Yeah. Because they can do whatever the fuck they want because it's home office. If you don't know what home office is, if you're in IT, you bad. just work from home. That's the, no, no, the no, no, it's not just it, it. Well, it's that's true. But yeah, let's go with that one. Let's go with that one. Anyway, last week, I gave you a shit movie. <laughs> you gave but, me. I I honestly want to say one of the worst films I've ever watched in my life. Because I had never actually watched this. Good. Now you did. Right, so a little bit of backstory for you because you don't know this. I know quite a bit, but go on. Uh, Eon Fox started off as shorts being shown on MTV of all places. Yes, back it's, it's a French, French animation company. Uh, but the person who did it was not. Yeah. He was uh, Peter Chang or some shit. There were music videos, name. more or less. They weren't even no, shorts that they much. Were, no, they were put in the same time, time slot as, uh, uh, what the fuck was the name of it? Beavis uh, and it's Beavis and Butthead, yeah. yeah. And then later was they decided, oh, you know what? Let's turn this into an animation series, because people yeah, like make it. make it a show, yeah. And it got much worse. Yep. Since the point, the point of the shorts was uh, her mistakes and sometimes bad luck caused her always to die. Yeah. Then they, put, they, then they put it into a TV, a TV series that didn't really have anything to do with the plot. It had really nothing have... going for it. It had bad, bad plotting. And no, overall, it, it just I, didn't I don't look think right either. Plot. Well, no, I don't think it never looked good. Let me put it the animation. Uh, what you call it? Janky. Uh, no. There was this, there was this movie that I kind of stopped midway through. Uh, let me just find the name. It's not even a good one. <laughs> uh, it's called wait, no, no, to your last. De- it's an animation. What's it called? To your last death. 
to your last death. Okay. You see the, the animation? I'm looking at the... Just check the trail off quickly. Just quickly. Why does this look like it will barely have any animation whatsoever? Well, exactly, because it barely has any. Oh god, yeah, but this looks like a fucking... Uh... What's it looks called? like a comic, a comic book, and it you looks know like how they a, do a PMV. graphic novel. Not graphic novel. Yeah. Fuck! It looks like um, a comic book, like, like a one. Japanese novel game where you just press mm. buttons. Well, no, 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 not even close. More than this. No, this is legitimately a comic book uh, style movie yeah. where they have a little animation, and you know how it goes from Fuck panel me. to panel. Fuck me! Archer has more animation than this. Exactly, and <clears throat> if you. Because this is more circular shaped, John, while Eon Flux is more angular yeah, shaped. Yeah. It's kind of the same shit, but Eon Flux somehow looks worse. Than it. Sorry, no, this one looks worse. That one. That one this one looks pass. like it's animated in Flash. There's a lot of tweening going Like, for, yeah, it's pro, for, yeah, an, it's, for it's any animators flash. listening, there's a lot of tweening going on, which is just pivot points and moving things about. So, no actual animation. They're, they're just points of the model that are moving around. Okay. Well, oh, 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 Lord. And uh, here's the thing. Uh, I put. Uh, Go on. Uh, uh, and it, but the thing is, it's incredibly rooted in uh, Gnosticism. Yeah. But but it isn't really. Because uh, someone just took the fucking cliff notes. I think well, one person I watched ages ago do a review said it best. Peter Chung just took the fucking cliff notes of it and just did whatever the fuck you want with it afterwards because it barely has anything to do with it. Agnosticism is not an easy thing to explain. No, I, it's not. I so this can't movie, really explain it as well. This movie stars Charlize Theron. And... It's set in a dystopian future where uh, a virus wiped out the population. Where everything is green. Which is a change because in the animation everything was grey and dull and everything tough. So the movie starts with narration. And it has a bit more narration after the first 10 minutes. And then the narration goes away. Because I guess the writer fell asleep and forgot to write narration in. Uh, I am honestly okay with this. So the character starts off as tough, but then by the end of it, she's screaming like a mad person. Like she, they go with a whole stoic look and within 15 minutes, she's not stoic anymore. She's a completely different person. Uh, so she is ta- She's an assassin. Oh, she's a lot of things, to be honest, in the uh, animation. She's a, yeah, page. but in the mo- I'm talking about the movie. We're not talking about the... the, 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 the... But, but you need to make her comparisons to understand how really bad. Yeah. Because even in the animation, she was a lot of things there. Most of them good, sometimes bad. But... I'm looking at it as a film, you know. I'm not trying to disassociate it from the animation. But basically, she is part of the assassin group. And they're the rebels who were there to... They want to kill the leaders. Or one of the leaders. Because there's two brothers that are in charge. Because they're the ones that saved humanity. Ish. But Ish. they don't save shit. That's revealed later on. But... So... She... Uh, basically is tasked to kill... What's the guy's name? Oh, no, Trevor, good child. Trevor. He, she is tasked to kill Trevor. And then it turns out that they fucked before, so now they're going to fuck again. So now she cannot okay, kill so, Trevor. Uh, so let me explain it like this. In the animation, it was uh, noted that they didn't hate each other. Yes. And, and But they didn't like each other. They just had a carnal lust for each other. But they were at the opposite end of the spectrum. Yes. The gnostic, the gnostic spectrum in this case. And the whole animation is based on fetishism. And the position is between men and women. Yes, but put it this way, the animation actually had a lot more going for it, story-wise and theme-wise. Like, it, again, no. theme, wasn't great. Wise, but w- like, listen, he tried this. I yeah. think that he, uh, he tried this, but he felt miserably. And At this is just for us to try and decide. 
this movie did not try. The only thing oh. this movie tries to do is look it, cool. Uh, is to get more rope action. When you can see it, which a hundred out of a hundred times, you do not. No, no, no. You do see the fucking rope because action. Because this is the poorest, the worst shot film I've ever watched. Even in dialogue scenes, you don't know where anybody is. Because it constantly breaks the 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 180 rule. It, it breaks every single rule I can imagine where somebody's talking to somebody and the person, the first person is on the left of the screen, then they're on the right, and then they're in, in the next shot. It's all reversed. So you don't know who's talking to who. One of the best examples is there's a, there's an opening shot where this uh, this like conference is, go, is happening in this big room. And the way it's shot, it makes it look like there's only three people in the conference, but there's like 10 of them. And then every action scene in this film is unintelligible. You, you can't, you can't, you can't see shit. It's like if you thought Born Identity or the Born films had shitty action, take that, multiply it by 10, add a bunch of blue and green to the colors, a bunch of flashing lights, and a lady with hands for feet. That, that is what the action in this film is. Oh, yeah. So, Apparently they're trying to infiltrate this uh, really important place where they have get this beehives that shoot out fucking needles. Yeah. And needle grass. Literal the needle grass. Needle grass. Uh, but here's the fun fact. Yeah. The needle grass is situated on exactly enough uh, space for them to maneuver around it. And yeah. no one's watching that shit. And I'm sitting there, I, I watched that and I was like, Speaking of this which, is video uh, game logic. she, um, it's not even video game logic. Video game has fucking more logic with this shit. So no, no, I put it like this. So we put this on our obstacle course like this. Yeah. And then you remove it, and, and sorry, and then you create a path for the player to do. It's exactly that. Because the, they have to. Because as long as they don't step on the grass, they're gonna be fine. And the funny thing is, it's elevated, but it's also put on some fucking uh, dome-wise, stone-like. Uh, quadrants to, uh, it's fucking weird and they just right. jump on them also, and I'm like what? that is not how wrists work that really peeved me so there's a lady who's had an enhancement quote unquote and she's had her feet replaced with hands that which is stupid on so many levels but is so demented it's fucking stupid but also she will do one bad jump and her wrists will break. That is why people who walk on their hands, like circus performers and athletes, only can do it for a certain amount of time because your hands are not meant to walk you around. They're meant to grab things and move things and lift things while your legs and feet are the things that are, you know propel and give you forward motion. When you put uh, hands instead of feet, that completely defeats the purpose. If you even, you might as well just be a quadruped, because it will just make your life easier. Also, there's again, as I said, apart from this movie having no sense of uh, camera work, it also has no sense of space, because half the time you don't know where anybody is in relation to anything. There's a bit where she gets caught and she's in prison, and we cut to like a sharp close-up of her pulling out a vial out of a shoe. Or, sorry, not even a shoe, out of something. But you don't know what that something is until we get a, a f uh, shot further away where you can kind of see what she's doing. But you have to, like, puzzle it together for yourself. It's like a fucking interactive movie puzzle where it turns out that she had a flap in her shoe. But it's so poorly shot and so poorly made that you don't know you don't know what, where she got the vial from. But then she... There's this whole bit where she tries to be sexy walking around this room trying to see where things are. And it's shot so poorly that you don't even know the size of the room. Even at the end where they pull the camera back to show how big the room is, you still don't know how big the room is because every time another shot shows up, the room feels a diff like a different size because they they used... See what I mean? It makes no sense. 
It actually just makes no fucking sense and it annoyed me so much. God. And then there's an action scene before that at the start of the film where she goes to infiltrate this base in the middle of the night and all the guards are dressed in black. So she goes on a stealth mission to infiltrate this memory base where they have the memories and the surveillance and she's dressed in all white. Who... I ask you, sir, who infiltrates a base in the middle of the night dressed in all white? She does, because she can. And the final scene, even, the final action scene where uh, they're doing the shooting, there's a bit where she's just stood out in the open, and she's shooting around the circle, and nobody's shooting at her. All the guards are just kind of stood there taking shots, taking bullets from everybody else around them. And we get this horrible reveal that I saw coming from a mile away that they're all clones. Oh no, they're all clones. They're having memories. I feel like this movie had an idea somewhere along the way. And then the studio said, here's another 2,500 ideas. Make sure you cram every single one of them into this film. They're two brothers. Oh, one of the brothers is the one that's actually doing the betraying. They're, a, they're a, a, an organization of assassins, but the, our main hero is getting betrayed by them now. Uh, there's a love thing going on, but we're not sure about it, but we're on the fence about it, but we're not on the fence about it. The biggest leader of the, of the, of the century who saved humanity for everything cannot get spotted on the public subway while he's being shot and dragged around by a gorgeous lady. Same thing if they're on a fucking bridge. Also the CGI in this film is horrendous. The effect, everything's horrible about this. They even tried to put comedy in at one point. There's like, there's one joke in the film where Charlize Theron looks at him where she's pulling bullets out of him going, did, what, did at least one of them miss you? Or something like that. Everything in this film is bad and I hate you for giving it to me. <laughs> this is for making me watch fucking Tomb Raider. But Tomb Raider is at least fun. No, it is. At it's least it's, boring. It's, it knows its tone. Well, no, this one doesn't boring. know what tone it has. And it tries so hard to be cool, but it's so shit. That it just falls flat. Sometimes literally. So many good actors in this as well. Every single one of them is wasted. Not a single person in this film is acting well. And it's just painful to watch. It's like Charlize Theron. Every time she's in a scene, she just looks like she's on a catwalk. And she's about to like do a little twirl and go back behind the curtain. Oh, I wasn't complaining about that. I'm not complaining at all. But all of it is so out of place. And so disjointed in its ideas and tones and shit. It's just painful to watch. And I understand why it's got so many shit reviews. And I feel bad because that's a black mark of Charlize Theron's like... And there's so many things like unexplained that like communications and pills. Wait, like wait, I understand wait, so, it's so, a sorry. mega future, but... I'm sorry. Fuck uh, me. You, you, you knew you, were, you should have watched the animes as well. Yeah, yeah. The animation should have watched it. I shouldn't have to watch please, the animation. Please don't watch it. Yeah, please no, don't please watch don't. it. I shouldn't have to watch the animation to understand a film that's based on it. So the same way you don't have to read the Harry Potter books to watch the Harry Potter films. Because they work as films on their own. Mm. Oh. Fuck me in the ass, this movie's bad. Oh yeah, that's really bad. It was so bad I felt like just giving you Nikita for next week. <laughs> or Hannah. Or Lucy. But I wouldn't want to... Wait. Uh, hey, wait. Hannah's good. Hannah's actually good. <sighs> Lucy, though. Lucy is a piece of shit I would refuse to watch. Yeah, exactly. So, Frances McDormand was in this film. Yeah. She's a favorite actress of mine. Okay. So, for next week, mm-hmm. you're watching three billboards outside of Ebbing, Missouri. Oh, I watched that. It's fucking amazing. Yeah, I'll watch it. So, we're talking about... I fucking love that film. I watched it on the cinemas and I made Vesco watch it with me. He loved it. It's one of the. It's a very dark movie. Yes, but it's also one of the best films in the last. I want to say 10 years. When we're talking mm-hmm. about just, just hard drama, it's one of the better ones. And it actually, it's actually put together well and it, it doesn't force you to feel in a certain way or anything like that. But anyway, yeah, that's what we're watching for next week. For the last week of 
female Story. roles, strong female characters. Mother. See, I, I think I, I think that this might become a weird, mostly because there's a lot of those movies out there. There is, yeah. Some. I mean, that uh, Bloodline just crossed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it, it just crossed my mind. See, I may have given you Neon Fox, but I could have given you fucking Blood Rain. Which, not which, even one. which Blood Rain? Yeah. Three, three. Actually, three was the first one that crossed my mind. Oh, no. The, those are the progressively worst. Like, I, lo- I, love Christian, I love Cristiano yes. Locan, but don't do this to me. Uh, uh, and uh, James Mann. Yeah. And fucking Meatloaf. Meat love of all people. Oh, uh, right but yeah, no, the, the first movie you can have fun with it. But that, oh, yeah. <laughs> genuinely bad. The first one you can have fun. Yeah, you can shut your brain and still enjoy the stupidity of it. Yeah. And also, yeah, becomes... children, go buy go buy Animal Crossing and Doom and play some Crossing. Good... Uh, Animal Crossing oh, oh, uh, and Doom and play some I... good games. Wait, wait, what? I haven't shown you, Mister Icarus. Yes. What? Uh, about the new Doom mod. Where we get oh. Isabel from Animal Crossing. Oh, <gasps> really? <laughs> yeah, but... she's your helper. Oh God. Uh, 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 quickly. Doom. Isabel. Mod. Yep. There's a GZ Doom companion mod exclusive from five days ago. Yep. Gives Doom Guy high fives, shoots demons, and new mod. Oh, look at this ridiculous shit. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Joel yes, Taro. Yes, yes, yes. No, 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 no. Come to your deal. Holy shit. Do you know what the funny thing is? I haven't still watched any of the... Uh, Neither have I. New... I've watched bits, no. but I've watched the OVAs from back in the day, and that was Listen, it. Listen, I, I, have, I have read the mangas, and I'm fucking more halfway through them, but, you know, it's your boy. Jotaro. See, I also want to point out, my profile picture on Steam is a fucking pain elemental. Yeah, you've had that for the longest time. I fucking love it. And the funny thing is... He he looks so fucking goofy and adorable in Doom 2. This one is close to, like I said the first time around, it's close to 64 and actually looks scary. <laughs> yeah, actually looks scary. I don't particularly like that. Just, he's just a mean, a beefy man. And that throws, uh, just, he doesn't even feel more about that. He just feels like a tanky bastard. Well, yeah, but he look he does look quite a bit like the original. <sighs> Me. Danger. I just saw the memes you sent me. I was some some good memes. Great, great meme. Just copy the image and send it to a bunch of people. Right then. Have we got anything else to discuss on this quiet corona-ridden week? No. Nothing. No. Nah. Nah, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nada. Zit. De nada. Squat. De nada. So, join us next week on the Voices from Behind podcast, where we will talk about three billboards and other things. So, we shall see you all next week on the Voices from Behind podcast. I have been mm-hmm. Evo. You have been Evo. We have been Evo. Uh, trying to think if there's anything else to add or to think or to, to combine into the, the end of the show, but I don't think there is. Find us on all the usual spots. Find us on Spotify. Find us on uh, but, uh, the Apple Podcasts and subscribe to the RSS feed and all that. Have uh, Stay safe. Yes. Most, most importantly, just stay safe. And... Excuse me, I burped. We shall see you all next week on the Voices of yes. Kai podcast. I'm playing the music. Yeah.